Good evening, everybody. So I wanted to, to go into a little bit more depth on the rule to write a lot, read a lot. So you can't just jump into writing. What uh, typically you need to do is um, practice, 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 practice. So um, I'm actually going to come up with a couple of writing exercises I have in mind. And over the next course of the next month or so, I'll announce it. I'm going to get a one-year subscription to Microsoft Office 365, the the standard, you know, the $99 version, the standard version, which means you can install it up uh, on up to five computers. And I'll be uh, doing a short story contest in order to uh, give that away. I'm trying to boost my subs. I'm not going to hide it. I'm not going to lie about it. But the most important thing here is that I'm going to come up with two concepts. Uh, they're actually going to be near-death experience kind of things, things that actually happen to me, but I'm going to give them to you in a, in a very uh, factual, no-detail manner so that you can create a story yourself. And it, it's great to do these exercises. Uh, if you watch the movie Finding Forrester, it actually stars uh, Sean Connery uh, as a artistic writer, uh, one of those people that were held up as a successor to Aristotle, Plato, that kind of thing. And he would give a person he was helping to learn to write a starting point a paragraph, a, a line of text and say, okay, build on that. And, and those are the kind of things we're going to do. So the first one is going to be about short stories. Um, but before we get started with that, I'm going to tell you that's where to start. You start writing short stories and you write short stories with big limitations. Let me explain. So you want to enter contests, you want to challenge yourself, you want to compete. Competition is the best way to become better at what you do, no matter what you do. And so I enter a lot of contests, I've won a few, I've lost a lot. Uh, there's a lot of people that do this kind of thing. But I'm going to put in a, con a contest, it'll be something like, when I say limitations, you have to have a minimum word count and a maximum word count so that you can restrict yourself and say, okay, I've got to put detail and I've got to make this a consistent visual journey because that's how human beings process these things now with the advent of TV. We uh, currently, 90% of our American population watch TV way before they ever read anything. And so our minds, from what I've discovered in talking to people and researching, tends to be visual in nature. Um, and that's a change from uh, early on in our evolution, intellectually, our intellectual evolution, as should say. So I'm going to bring up uh, uh, some of the greatest short stories ever written. And right here, let's see. So some of these I've really, uh, I've read a lot over and over again, because I tend to reread things and get uh, great information I didn't see before. Or I'll, over the course of a few months or a few years or, or a decade, my positions and my point of view will have changed so that I get something different from the story. And that's what a good story does. In fact, I've read this one. This is a very good story uh, for people who want to write. Um, and it shows you a very strange POV. Uh, this one is, is the same good thing. Uh, actually, it was this one. This one I was talking about here. How to Become a Writer by Laurie Moore. I've read that. It's a very good uh, story. And like I said... It has an unusual POV. It's second person present, I think, yeah, through the use of unusual POV. Uh, through the unusual POV. Anyway, yeah, I remember it that way. 
uh, cat person, cathedral. This is a very good story as well. So the point is, is to go this, I love this, this story. Uh, science fiction, this is hardcore, old school, Asimov style science fiction. Ray Bradbury is very good at it. Uh, I don't know if you've ever read this. A lot of people have in high school. This is a very good short story. Um, and you can you can peruse these. Uh, here's the website here. I think uh, Goodreads may also have it. Stephen King has hundreds and hundreds of great short stories because that's how he started his career. Just like that's how I started my career. That's how 90% of writers start their careers by writing short stories. So that being said, oh, excuse me. That being said, you want to start with short stories. And I would suggest if you're going to write, in order to write short stories, the whole purpose of a short story is to uh, kind of drill down into the details of your writing style and correct anything that comes out. See, with a short format like a story, especially a flash, flash fiction story, which is, is usually 250 to 500 words, I have one of those on my uh, channel, actually. It's called Night Terror. Now, it is a horror, but it's very internal, and uh, I'm super proud of it. Uh, I haven't had any bad responses. That may be just because people don't want to say anything, but I like it. I think it's a good story. I think it's one of these that... that that should be on this list, but that's me. I'm a little biased when it comes to that. So what it does is when you limit yourself to 500 to say 2000 words, you have to get very creative with the wording, with the vocabulary, with the way that you use metaphor and simile. Uh, and, and you have to use metaphor and simile because standard description takes too long. Narrative takes too long. Typically, these short stories are either all narrative or typically 90% dialogue. So read through these stories. Read through some stories that you may have written in the past or, or listen to my stories. And think to yourself, how can I write and keep myself within some sort of range? What this does is it tightens up your writing so that when you do go write a novel, you already have that toolkit. You already have that in your toolkit. You don't even have to think about it. You're going to write the same way. It's like muscle memory for your brain. So if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And remember, your life is your story. It's the most important story you'll ever tell. So make it a great one. Have a good day. Hey, this is Storyman Jack. I just wanted to say thank you for watching. I appreciate everybody who uh, tunes in and I uh, look forward to seeing you next time. Please, if you enjoyed the video, like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you're the creator and writer of your own story. Make it a great one. Thank you.